Alright y'all, so check this out, right? So it's quick story time, boom. I was messing with this chick, nothing too, nothing serious by any means. I was really I'll be honest, I was really just getting necked up by her, like one of my favorite throat goes all time. Anyway, <laughs> one time I hit her up. This is like July. I'm like, what you on? No reply, right? So I'm like, okay, uh, whatever. Didn't reply back. So then um, I get a text, right, from her people talking about, hello, good morning. This is Robin's sister. I'm sorry, be the one to tell you this, but Robin lost her battle to depression. Is no longer with us. I said, wait, what? When did this happen? Mind you, I later on in life peeped that, like, in some of the videos and shit of her, like, I would see, like, cuts on her arms. I never peeped, so this was actually pretty believable, right? I'm like, damn. Boom. So I texted the number a few days later. Mind you, I'm looking up shit. And I'm like, this is, like, after two weeks. I'm like, hey, sister, what's your name and what happened? Why is the phone still getting messages and why do you keep a dead person's phone charged. Because the whole time, I'm like, I don't believe this shit. Like, I feel like it's a hoax. Like, sure, you kind of crazy in, in the head. Like, I ain't gonna lie, she's insane. So, I don't even know what I was thinking. But, again, good neck will blind a motherfucker. Anyways, this bitch went off on me. Had a whole fucking story. Wow, the nerve of you. I'm Jeff Vent. Quite, whatever, whatever your business. We're grieving the lost daughter, sibling, whatever, whatever. Not that anyone in the family owes you anything, but she slit her wrist open and bled out in her bedroom. My brother and his dog found her fucking body lifeless on the floor of the bedroom. We keep her phone on to go through it, understanding on how long she's been sick to reread the notes she left. My bad, it cut off, but to reread notes she left us, figure out where we went wrong. We would just answer closure. How dare you, the nerve you seem concerned, and to question me. When she never uttered a word of you. When she was here. I don't give a fuck, bitch, if she had any type of said anything about me, bitch. I want to be low-key because all I'm doing is getting necked. I'm not even fucking this girl. Anyways, I'm like, damn, I felt like an asshole. I'm like, damn, I'm, you feel me? They are grieving. Let me be a little bit more considerate. Didn't text back, didn't message back, nothing. I was like, I'm going to leave this shit alone. Mind you, this happened in July. This is August 9th right here. A few weeks afterwards. So, boom. I'm, I'm at work yesterday, right? Why the bitch FaceTime me twice? I got two FaceTime calls from this motherfucker. The same motherfucking number. I'm like, what the fuck? This bitch dead. What the? So, when she's text, so when she called me yesterday, she left me a text. and was like, damn, was hoping you didn't forget about me. Sorry to bother. I ain't want shit but to check up with you and make sure you was good. Hope you're well. I'm like, bitch, I was told you was dead, nigga. <laughs> uh, mama, what the fuck? What the fuck, bitch? Did you resurrect? What in the hell? She said, and like, what, nigga? Because why? My IG says, in loving memory, I'm just not that bitch anymore because I'm not someone who gives a fuck about everybody else has going on any anymore. I've been moving a big difference since I got a rehab, but I'm not dead. Bitch, rehab. Anyways, I said, no, I literally got a text. And I sent her the motherfucking, you feel me, screenshot or whatever. This bitch leaving voice memos, all type of shit. Had some crazy ass story. Like, it was nuts. I say all this to say, moral of the story is, I'm moving the fuck out of Atlanta, bro. This shit is nuts. This is just faking death's resurrect. I sent this bitch the messages. She talking about, yo, this bitch is actually in fucking insane. Now my brother and little, little dog and nephew, this bitch is really fucking crazy. Some wild bro, not that I hold waiting your life for nothing, but um, I can't even see the rest of it, the buttons covering it. But anyways, I'm like, bitch, I ain't reply to that, by the way. I'm never speaking to this bitch again, because what the fuck, bitch? I don't know what type of shit you got on to where people is faking deaths for you or in rehabs and all this other shit, bitch, but you're cooked. You're cooked. I ain't gonna lie. I'm in a drought. No, nah, I'm not in a drought. Yeah, I'm in a drought. But I'm cool with not having sex for the rest of the year. But, like, if it, this is a random day in March, and I'm super horny, I might hit the bitch up. But otherwise, 
This bitch will never hear from me again. Crazy bitch. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back with in the confessional. Yes, we staying lit, big dog. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Wheels and Deals and Keys and Lit. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Okay, make sure y'all hit the links down below. Make sure y'all join the 80K subscriber giveaway. My dog, he having a happy Thanksgiving too. He might just got some turkey today. And he might just got some turkey. He happy, okay? <clears throat> anyway. Let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section. 80K giveaway. You can get you a wig. Or you can unbig that bag. Or you can, you know what I'm saying, uh, get you some sneakers from the sneakers app. Now, let's get into it, big dog. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, this was absolutely insane. I'm lost for words. I've never had a dating experience this wild, okay? Um, but, yeah. Uh, for someone, as far as a sister or something, to say that she's dead, that person hates you. That person really, really, really hates you. That person don't want you to be on this earth. You probably went to rehab, you probably went to the crazy house, wherever you decided to go. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's probably the crazy house. Um, your sister don't like you. She didn't want you to come up out of there. And bro, you dodging a bullet. I wouldn't even call her back in May. You might go to sleep around her. And you might be the next one out of here. Okay? Like, let's not play with this situation right here. This is a live wire. This is a live wire. Um, this story took an absolute turn for the worse. I did not think it was going to get dark and ground. But it did. Um, pretty dope story, though. I would not want to be in it. I don't give a damn how good the head is. I will not be calling you back in March when I'm horny. I will not. It, it, it's just not enough coochie in the world to make me do that. Nope. Nope, not I. Okay? Um, listen. I've met some that one time. Oh, I was about to say something. Anyway, when we talk speaking of head, man, it was this one girl. Man, she sounded like a, a washing machine. A whole washing machine. I didn't know what was going on down there. It was like, wash, 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 wash. <sighs> I think I might call her. Everyday people, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>